Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. I'm coming at y'all with a brand new clothing slash sneaker haul, so let's get it poppin'. Very briefly, I wanted to mention that I did start a vlogging channel, so if you guys like vlogs, make sure to check it out right here. I will leave a little click annotation or whatever you want to call it to my vlogging channel. It's called Sneakerhead in the Bay Vlogs. A lot of people ask me for the name, but when you start a channel out, it's very hard to find it when you search it in the little search bar. So Sneakerhead in the Bay Vlogs might be a little bit hard to find. Just click this little annotation right here hit that subscribe button. I'm almost at 2,000 subs. So I just wanted to thank everybody that subbed. So far it seems that you guys like the vlogs, the people that have been on the vlog channel, so I do appreciate it. One more quick thing, if you guys aren't following me on Snups, make sure you do so right here. I'm trying to post more of my shoes on there, but it's getting kind of tricky because I'm not sure where to start in my collection, but I'm gonna try to add it on Snups. So yeah, make sure you follow me on there. Anyways, let's get into the main content of this video. I'm gonna be showing you a few pickups from my boys over at Efulgence. I feel like I'm pronouncing that wrong. Maybe I'm not, maybe I am, who knows. Big shout out to Steven though for hooking your boy up with all of this dope ass apparel. I appreciate it, bro. Right here, we're looking at a black tee and on the front, it says F you, man, F you. With a little cat right there. He's just posing, he's chilling. It kind of reminds me of like a Pokemon cat or something like that, or like an anime kind of thing. And then on the back, it has some anime looking characters and it just says Effulgence. I think I'm saying that right, Effulgence. I might be wrong, you guys can correct me down below for all my grammar spelling people, Effulgence. And just in case you wanted to find anything, I will leave it down below in the description as well as any promo codes if I have any. So for this company, I do have a 10% code. Again, big shout out to Steven for hooking up my subs. He'll hook you up with 10% off of every order if you use the code SINTB. As always, that's always the rep code. S-I-N-T-B, 10% off. Go ahead and check out his site. Like I said, everything will be down below in the description. Now this next tee is very interesting because I took a look at it and I was like, wait, it's like printed on this tee, but it's inside out. He was going for like a rugged, unique look and I think he definitely achieved it with this one. This tee is called the Ghost Maiden shirt and like I said, he printed on it inside out on purpose. So I've never seen that done before very unique in my opinion i don't think any other company has done that maybe but who knows this guy has some really dope stuff and you want to see something very interesting some of his pieces actually come with condoms like brubra is really looking out the last clothing item i have is this pink long sleeve that just says effulgence on the front almost a south beach kind of colorway got that long sleeve look bright with the colors simple with the design there you go and the last piece that he sent me was this FU snapback with the FU in that Sega. I think it was like that Sega, right? All my gamers out there. This is that Sega logo font kind of look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Sega. This is the Sega font. I had to double check real quick. And then on the back, it says Effulgence in red. And I think that's the Nintendo one. Sorry. I'm not all about the game life anymore. I used to know life that shit 24 seven, but um, not anymore, man. No time for that. I know this is a sneaker channel, so you guys wanna see the sneakers. Let's just get right into it. So I have a pair of the Air Max 90 Ices. This is the red pair, obviously, but I remember I wanted these when these first dropped and they were 160 bucks. I knew that they weren't going to sell out, so I just waited and I was able to cop these for 110 bucks. $50 under retail, so I was mad happy with that. I also threw in the replacement laces from lacelab.com. I just went with the orange reflective ones, and I think they came out pretty dope. So I'm very happy with this pickup. Let me hit the thumbnail real quick. What do we got next? What do we got next? We got a pair of some Hirachis. Some Hirachis. That'd be a good thumbnail too, right there. There you go. Double thumbnail. See which one I like better. But these remind me of like a Miami Dolphins colorway almost. Very clean, classic model. I love runners. If y'all don't know me, I love runners. They're just awesome. They're very affordable, most of them. Come on, man, you can't go wrong with these. I got these from Finish Line. If I had a dollar for every time you guys tagged me in this picture, I'd be balling, son, I'd be balling. But yes, I had to cop the Sriracha Bait collaboration. This is the jersey. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I haven't washed it yet, so it's still a little bit wrinkly, but don't really mind that. Just mind the, the Sriracha look. It's just awesome, I love it. And then you have the bait logo on the right sleeve right here. Basically the left sleeve if you're wearing it, but it's right on this side. You guys get what I'm saying. On the other side, we got the rooster, the 
Shiracha Rooster. So this is what's up. And on the back it says 80. I'm not sure exactly how that correlates to Shiracha, but if you guys want to do some research on that and just let a brother know, feel free to do so. If you guys are already on my vlogging channel, you would have seen these in the vlog. I did pick up a pair of Thin Fin Nudies. You just can't go wrong with a pair of fresh raw denims right here. Really like this. I didn't get a hemmed or anything. Um, I thought they would be a little bit long, but I actually like the stacked look and especially how it looks when it starts fading in. So I picked up this pair. I think it was around 180 total. Let's get right into the sneakers again. I got a pair of the gray Zeno ZX Fluxes. Now I got the black pair for myself and I also got a black pair for my dad. And I just love the way that it looks in the sun. Um, a lot of people just break their necks. I got to call the ambulance left and right when I wear those shoes because people just like, they're like, whoo, whoo, breaking their necks. Yeah, man, I just had to go with these ones. When the light hits these, they don't really have a color changing effect, but they do have a nice bright white look. So you see it's kind of gray right now, but when the light hits it, it turns like a very very bright white so these are awesome and where the adidas logo is those kind of change colors i believe i haven't really messed with these too much kind of talked about this on my vlogging channel as well so if you want the background footage and all of that please go ahead and check out my channel like i said we're almost at 2,000 subscribers so the love has been nothing but crazy over there we have the gel light threes the a6 i remember when i used to cop a6 and people would be like what are you doing bro those are some grandpa shoes and now I see a ton of people rocking the Gel Light 3. And for some reason, I think that it's gonna be the same thing about Saucony's. I don't know why this is kind of going off on a tangent, but people are hating on the Saucony brand and I don't understand why. They're comfortable, they're affordable, and they look super clean. So give it about a year and I'm sure that everybody that was hating on the Saucony's is gonna have at least one pair in their collection or they're gonna be rocking a ton of pairs. Just a little prediction. But yeah, I forgot what these are called. I think like the Valentine's or something like that. ASIC Gel Light 3 Valentine's. These are pretty dope. I think they made these after like Valentine's chocolate. I'm not sure if I'm just talking nonsense right now, but I think the back, it has this paper mache feel, so that might be a wrapper. The top collar has, has this, I don't know, man. It's just a crazy shoe. They have a lot of details in this. And I don't think people appreciate ASICs that much. They don't really look into it like that. But check out this insole. It has all of the Valentine's chocolates very very nice and it says B mine right there going back to the pants we have some bullhead denim this is from PacSun they fit true to size just in case you guys are wondering I got the all white ones right here and I got these ones on sale I think they were the buy one get one freeze so if that deal is still available I will link it in the description and you can also visit your local PacSun stores they will have these they have rips on the front to give them a distressed look Something a little bit different. I don't really rock white pants. I don't have any in my my uh, pant collection, but this is going to be a first for me for sure. The next ones are just bullhead, like I said. These are the skinnies. If you get them a little bit longer, it will look stacked. It won't look like it's gripping your legs, like it's like leggings or something like that. It will look kind of baggy if you get them longer. That's kind of like the style I go for, is the baggy look while still being like tapered and skinny at the same time. So it's, it's kind of weird to explain, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. These go well with Jordans, runners, whatever you want to wear them with. You just got to experiment with them. Some shoes can pull it off and then some shoes is just a no-no. My face was starting to get a little pizza facey. We got to wrap this video up. It's hot in here, man, it's hot. So my apologies for that. Got the oily pizza face on, but we got two more shoes left, both A6. Um, these are called the Gator Luxes. I got all the A6 from N Clothing when they had a sale. They were all 50% off. So I think retail is probably, this is 109 pounds. Um, I'm not sure what that translates to in dollars, but I did get these for about 50 to 60% off. So I got these for a super steal. But the material on this, whew, awesome, 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 awesome. Looks like a premium quality sneaker. I did do the lace swap again. I tried doing the lace swap for all the ASICs. So here you go. The Lux Gators right here. The last ones are these perps. These are called the Hot Melts. So Gel Light 3 again. I love the midsole on this one. It looks like a marble countertop or something like that. Very, very nice. Black, purple. Is that purple? Purple or blue? Something like that. I can't even tell right now. It's like a purplish blue. Who knows? That's pretty much it, man. It's getting hot. They have a beautiful weekend. 
and I will catch you guys next time. Make sure to sub to my vlogging channel if you want to stay updated with your boy and you f*** with me like that. And I will catch you guys next time. It's Sneakerhead of the Bay. I'm out. Peace.